Welcome to this video about using custom attributes in Blazor. Now the use case that I'm going to describe in this video is not too practical, so it can very well be that you will never run into this problem. One case in which the use of a custom attribute comes in quite handy is when you want to have information about all your Razor components, even if they aren't rendered yet. So therefore, I'm going to create a new attribute I'm going to create a page attribute. So from the naming, you see this attribute will be applied to all Razor components that are routable over the page directive. Here, I'm just inheriting or extending the attribute base clause. Then I'm going to define constructor. This will have two parameters, first one route, second one an array that can be submitted also via params. Then I'm going to define two public fields. First one is of type string array. Second one is of type string. I'm going to use the this keyword to assign the values here. So now I'm going to the Razor components, now in brackets, page attribute, and then I'm going to call the constructor. First, I'm going to pause the route, and then here, the strings that will be put in the array, because we have specified it with the params keyword, whether forecast so and the same thing I'm doing also for the counter component and then for the index and in the index one is also the component where we are going to retrieve all the information Therefore, I have to import the namespace system.reflection. And because I want to display it a bit in a nice way, I'm going to define a table. I'm going to style it with the bootstrap classes, column four, so that, it won't, that the width won't be the whole page. Now, table head, table row, here I'm going to define Let's just say three columns, name, tags, and route. Then we also need a body. And in here is where I am going to use reflection. So I'm going to call assembly, get executing assembly, get types. This method will return an array of all the types in our solution. And then we are going to make a projection here. So we are getting in a type. And here, because I'm going to use one more than more, I am going to use more than one line. I'm going with the statement lambda syntax here. So attribute attribute so somehow we have to retrieve the attribute from this type and we don't just we want the specified attribute or custom attribute therefore here i have to pause in the type of the attribute we want to retrieve so the page attribute now this method can also return null so if the attribute here is not null then we know it is the page attribute and we are going to to return it. So here I'm going to use a ternary operator. I'm making a check if attribute is not equal to null. Then I'm going to return the attribute, but in a slightly different way. I'm first going to downcast it to our page attribute. So here that's the attribute. And otherwise, if the condition is not matched, I'm just going to return null. And then I'm 
here just quickly filtering out the null ones. And then I'm going to display the information in a row. In a row, I specify table data. So the first Oh, yeah, proud. So it's just that I that I'm clear and I haven't misspelled myself. Here we have a row, and in here we have the the columns. To display the tags, I'm using the join method. When you use the join method, we have two input parameters. The first one is like the separator, and the second one is the collection. And the collection is item tags. Now the route, I'm going to display it as a link. And the route will all also be used to show the name of the component. So let's have a look. So as I've told you, this example is not too practical, but I just I think it gives a bit of an overview what we could do. If you want to have an overview of all the components in, in your application, even if they aren't rendered, so calendar and fetch data, they haven't been rendered, but because we're using our attribute or custom attribute, we have information about them. And of course, you could also, I mean, there are so many possibilities in which you could achieve, achieve the same result. You can hard code it somewhere, but I think the syntax is quite is quite nice. Yeah. Thank you very much for your attention.